If you're watching this, it means you've been selected to become the next time travel recruit. Today, you will be taken to an important moment in time and see what happens when it is changed. It will be your job to answer these questions about your mission and report your findings to me afterwards. Today, you will change time so that the attack on Pearl Harbor never happened. Since this is your first mission, I'll be coming with you. But before we go, you need to know the basics of what happened that year. Tension between the United States and Japan started in the 1920s. This is when Japan began to move into China. Then, in 1940, they started moving into French Indochina. The United States embargoed all the oil shipments to Japan in an effort to prevent them from advancing any further. Since Japan would only have enough oil to sustain themselves for two years, they decided to take action. They wanted to advance into the Dutch East Indies so they could take their abundant resources. But before they could advance into the Dutch East Indies, they would have to weaken the United States so they wouldn't be able to get in their way. Emperor Hirohito narrowed his plan of attack on two ideal United States bases, the Philippines and Pearl Harbor. He decided to attack Pearl Harbor and started to make plans with his generals early on in 1941. The attack began on December 7, 1941. The attack caused all the eight United States battleships to be damaged, but only four were sunk. In the end, all but one battleship was raised from the harbor, the USS Arizona. The attack also killed 2,403 Americans and wounded 1,178 more. The next day, the United States declared war on Japan, and three days later, Germany and Italy declared war on the United States. This information should be sufficient for you to begin your mission. I've already set this video to send you back in time to early 1941. See you there. Today, I have chosen to change Emperor Hirohito's decision to attack Pearl Harbor. Originally, he decided that Pearl Harbor was the best place to weaken the United States forces, even though his little brother and most of his generals urged against it. Now, he will agree with his brother and generals and want to attack the Philippines instead. Three reasons why the Philippines would be a better idea for Japan and not Pearl Harbor. Number one, the United States wouldn't be able to use the Philippine Islands as a base for invading Japan. Two, it would secure the communications between Japan and the South. Three, the Philippines are closer to the Dutch East Indies and they could use the islands as a supply base when they overran them. Three reasons why Emperor Hirohito would decide against an attack on Pearl Harbor. One, the water in the harbor was very shallow and they wouldn't be able to use their standard torpedoes on the U.S. battleships. Two, it would be more difficult to transport troops and supplies from Japan to Pearl Harbor. Three, Japan wouldn't be able to be at war with the United States for more than two years because they would be too focused on defending themselves from the U.S. to invade the Dutch East Indies for more supplies. Causing the Japanese emperor to choose the Philippines had a very positive outcome for Japan. The emperor decided to conquer the big islands in the Philippines first, and then the smaller ones. The Philippine army wasn't prepared for a large-scale attack and succumbed easily. There were many factors that caused the Philippines to be defeated by Japan. One large factor was that the soldiers in the Philippines had never fired a gun in their life, and didn't have a sufficient amount of fuel or guns in the first place. Many weeks before the attack, the generals in the Philippines requested more supplies to be shipped from the United States. These supplies were never delivered because of the lack of supplies due to the Lend-Lease Act. Another big disadvantage to the Philippines was that most of the people had lived there, spoke many different languages, and the soldiers didn't understand each other. Most of the time, the generals spoke other languages also, and couldn't fully communicate with each other either. Changing the Japanese attack to the Philippines caused two short-term effects. One, the United States never united for World War II. Two, the battleships of Pearl Harbor were ready to be used in the United States not uniting for World War II could have a horrendous outcome for the U.S. Since they didn't unite for the war, they were not motivated to defeat Germany and the Japanese. In doing this, the United States barely defeated Germany and Japan at the end of the war. Having the extra battleships increased the United States' chances of the war because they would have plenty in service. Originally, the ships that were repaired were put back into duty in late 1943. They had missed a large chunk of the crucial fighting in 1942 and early 1943. Now, since the battleships were salvaged, they could be used in these battles. Changing the Japanese attack to the Philippines caused two long-term effects. One, the people that died in the attack on Pearl Harbor lived to fight in the rest of the war. Two, Pearl Harbor would never become a famous national monument and could still be a military base today. The people that would have died in the attack on Pearl Harbor are still alive and can fight in the war. They will be prepared to come to the Philippines rescue with their supplies and soldiers as soon as they were threatened. They would also be able to possibly see the end of the war and their families. If Pearl Harbor was never attacked, it would most likely be a military base and not a monument. 
Pearl Harbor never becoming a national monument would be an enormous loss for the United States because we would not have the reminder of our hardships during World War II. We would also forget how it is possible for us to come together and to protect our freedom. In the end, the United States still defeated Japan and Germany, but with less vigor. In either scenario, the United States would have won the war. Even though the lives of many soldiers and citizens could have been spared, attacking Pearl Harbor was the best outcome for the U.S. It jolted us into action against Germany and Japan and made us realize what was happening to people around the world. Out of all the possible outcomes, the deaths of many would have been inevitable. But the actual path the Japanese took was best for the United States. The mission was successful and it's time to head back. I hope you learned a lot on our trip. I look forward to our next mission together. See you back home. This is my kingdom come, this is my kingdom come.